Hi guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to set up a splash screen in Android. If you aren't sure uh, what a splash screen is, it's more or less a page that comes up when you start an app and it shows the logo for the app for about a second or two while the app's loading in. So here's just a few examples of some splash screens from uh, other well-known apps like Netflix, Instagram and Spotify. So as you can see, they're basically just the logo of the application that appears uh, before you get into the main activity. So this tutorial will be suitable for beginners and I'm going to take you step by step through the whole process. So let's get started here, guys. The first thing that we're going to do is come down to our styles.xml file. And we're just going to copy the base application theme. Now we want to create our own theme that has no action bar. And the reason we're doing this is because we don't want the action bar to show up when we have our splash page on. So now we're going to go over and create the actual splash activity. So we're just going to click new activity and we'll just call it splash activity. So if we come here to our splash activity, um, we're just going to create a private static int and we're just going to call this splash screen timeout. So this is how long that we're going to show the splash screen for. So we'll just set this to 2000. Now, if we come down here, we can just create the on create method and override that as well. So this needs to just take in a bundle called save instance state. Now, so we can just do super dot on create and we'll just pass our bundle in there as well. And the next thing that we want to do is we want to set the window of our app to be full screen so that you can't see anything else when the splash screen is on. So to do that, we want to say get window dot set flags. And what you do is you say window manager dot layout params. And we're just going to say flag full screen. And we're just going to say comma window manager dot layout params dot flag full screen again. So this is just going to set our entire screen to just show uh, the background and our image view as well. Now, so the next thing we're going to do is just set the content view. And um, we're going to be creating an XML file. So we'll just call it r.layout and we'll say splash activity. Now, so if we just click on this, we can actually click create layout resource file and OK. So once we get to our resource file, we're just going to create a new vector here. I'm just going to select a really basic icon from the standard Android ones. So if I scroll down here, I'll just pick the airport logo and I'm just going to set this to be 500 by 500 DP. Now, so we just want to make an image view and we're going to pass in our image that we just made. So I'm just going to resize this again a little bit and put it into the center of the screen. So if we click here, we can center it horizontally and we can center it vertically. Now I'm just going to check what this little error is. So we actually just, I'm just going to suppress this warning for now. So if we come back here to our splash activity, we need to just tell the activity to only show this uh, page for a certain amount of time. So what we're going to do is we're going to say new handler dot post delayed. And in here you can write new runnable 
And if you just hit enter, it will create this uh, public void run method for you. So I'm just going to come down here and we have to say comma and we need to pass the amount of time that we wanted to run for. So we're going to say splash screen timeout, which we set at the top of the activity and just get rid of this bracket here. Now, so inside the run method, we're going to create an intent and we're going to use this intent to go to our main activity of the app. So we can say splash activity dot this and we're going to say main activity dot class. Now, so I can just say start activity here and we'll just pass in intent. And we'll just finish as well because we'll never come back to this page. Now, so that's pretty much our splash activity done. The only thing left to do is to make it look a bit nicer. We're going to add an animation to the image view. So to do that, we want to just write animation and we'll call it fade out. And we'll equal that to new alpha animation. And we'll just pass in one and zero here. So we're just telling it to go from uh, showing to invisible. So the next thing that we need to do is set the interpolator for our uh, animation. So we're going to just say fade out dot set interpolator. And we're just going to pass in a new and we're going to say accelerate interpolator. Now we just need to let the animation know when to start uh, fading out. So we're just going to say fade out dot set start offset. And we'll just put this at 500 so that it stays on the screen for a little bit first. And the next thing we have to do is set the duration. So we'll just say fade out at set duration. And we want it to fade while the screen is going off. So we'll just set this to about 1800. Now we just want to find our image that we set in our resource file as well. So we're going to say image view. We'll just call it image and we'll say view. And lastly, I'm just going to set the animation for our image. So image.set animation, and we just pass in fade out then. Now we have to just come over to our manifest next. We just need to update this. Uh, we're just going to tell it about the splash activity that we made. So we'll just say activity, and we'll just pass in the splash activity. And we also want to make this the first screen that you come to when you start the app. So I'm just going to rob the intent filter from the main activity. I'm just going to cut that and paste it into our splash activity. And that's pretty much all we need to do in the manifest. So our splash activity should be the first thing that starts. We also have to mention that the theme that we want to use is the app theme that has no action bar. So we're going to say app theme one. Now that we're finished the manifest guys, we're just going to build the app. And I'll just give you a quick overview of what the finished product should look like. So as you can see here, it loads up the app, uh, the splash screen shows, and then it fades out slowly and we come to our main activity. So that's basically how it works, guys. And that's pretty much it for the video, guys. So hopefully you're all able to set up your own splash activities. And thanks again for watching.